All right, in this question, uh, we're looking at one of the new questions on the new SAT coming up in uh, 2016. And uh, if you look at this question, it talks about a scientist that dives to a depth of nine feet. And at that nine feet depth, the pressure is 18.7. And at a feet, and at, at a depth of 14 feet, the pressure is 20.9. And it's asking us which of these answers um, linear equations here is the linear equation that describes what's going on. Well, you could do this question a number of different ways, but a very simple way to look at it is to recognize that each of these linear equations is of the, of the type y equal to mx plus b. This is pretty much what the college board folks who write the SAT are trying to test uh, with a student right here. They're trying to see as a student, do you understand this concept here? Now, based on that, if you recognize, if you look at what's happening, what's happening is this Y is behaving kind of like the P, okay? And this X is behaving like the D, okay? So if that's the case, if we take, if we look at it into the question, it talks about the depth of nine feet. Well, the depth are your Ds, so nine feet, and then this 14 is also your D. And then the, uh, the, uh, the uh, pressure is your P in both cases. So it works out such that if you plug in the D at 9, you should expect to get, here in the equation, you should expect to get a P that's 18.7. So let's try that out. So what I'm going to do is pretty much plug in these values into these equations. And whichever equation gives me the two numbers that go together is the correct one. So if we take A, for example, the equation for A, if we look at A, the equation for A is P equal to 0 0.4, 0 .4, uh, with the D plus 0 0.77. So let's test that. So the P is equal to 0.44, and the D that I expect to get from here, or the D that I'm plugging in is 9. Again, I'm getting that D from my equation. And this is equal to 0 0.77. Well, if you type this into your calculator, you're going to get a P that is 4.73. Now, if you think about that, that is not what you expect to get. You're expecting to get a P of 18.7 when you plug in 9. So you could tell that A cannot be the correct one. So let's go to B. So B, we're going to do the same thing. We go for this one, just to save time, I'm going to go straight into it. I'm going to say 0 0.44. Again, I'm looking at the equation here, 0 0.44. And here I'm going to type in the same D, which is 9, and I expect to get 18.7 for the P. So when I put 9 here, plus 0, oh, actually plus 14, because that's the equation for the second one. I'm testing this B, 14.74. Uh, if I go through that, if I run this math out, I will get 18.7. And that's your P. And this makes sense because if you look in the question here, it says that when I plug in 9, I should get 18.7. And that's exactly what I just got. Now, just to be sure, you need to test, in, test the se second set of numbers. When I plug in 14 for D, I should get a P that's 20.9. So let's do that. I'm changing my color here. So it's going to be P equal to, I'm going to do 0 0.44. And then this time I'm plugging in a D that's 14. Again, I'm plugging that in from the question, plus the equation for B, which is 14.74 there. And when you do that math, you get 20.9, which is exactly what we have in the question. So when I plug in 9, I should get 18.7. When I plug in 14, I should get in get 20.9 from the equation. And B is the one that does that, <clears throat> because it works for both the, when I plug in 9, I get 18.7. When I plug in 14, I get 20.9. And that's pretty much the answer to this question. And that's what the kind of stuff they're looking for on the new SAT. Uh, very realistic everyday questions, but they're going to be a lot more word problem based. Um, and as long as you, the student can break down and comprehend what they're asking for, um, it could be pretty straightforward, but a lot of practice is required. Um, check out more questions at successprep.com.